Hello what's up Ali here and on this video we will share how to set up and format a magic USB to activate our jailbreak. This is for our gamers to use this USB to activate their jailbreak on PS4 9.0. First let us go ahead and explain what is this and who can benefit on this method. Magic USB is a format that allows us to use our USB or external hard drive after formatting it to activate our jailbreak. By default, after you format your USB for the jailbreak activation, you can no longer use that USB for anything else aside for the jailbreak itself. But with the magic USB, your hard drive can still function as a regular USB or an external hard drive. You can still use it to install games or transfer any files on it or update your PS4. And the best part is, you can simply leave it plugged in uh, on your PS4. Unlike your regular dongle, if you leave it on your PS4, it can cause kernel panic. Let us go ahead and prepare the requirements for this method first. On this video, we are going to use an external hard drive. And later, we will also use the same hard drive to install games on our PS4. We will also need an application that will allow us to browse the contents of our PS4. For that, we can also use FTP. But if you have a PS4 Explorer, that can easily do the job. We will also need some files, so let us go ahead and start with downloading those files. Let us start with the Magic USB. You can find the link on our description, so just open the link and click on this part to download. We will also need the XFAT Hacks Pico to flash our USB. Open the link and click on this part to download. Next, we will need either a Rufus or a Win32 Disk Imager. It is highly advisable to use Rufus, but there are some drives that uh, can't be detected by Rufus, so we can use Win32 Disk Imager as an alternative. So for the Rufus, you can scroll down and click on this part to download the portable version. And for the Win32 Disk Imager, just open the link and click on this part to download. After downloading, just go ahead and extract and prepare your files. On our case, I just placed them on our desktop. And before we proceed to the actual method, I strongly recommend to follow the method exactly as what we are about to show you. Don't skip, don't mix, and don't be confused with the proper order for us to be able to avoid any possible issues when using a magic USB. Now let us go ahead and start the method. We'll start with cleaning the slate of our hard drive. To do that, we need to open the command prompt so click on the start on your windows and type in cmd. Now right click on the command prompt and run as administrator. And from here, it is also advisable to open the hard disk management at the same time. To do that, go back to the start, type in part, and click on the create and format hard disk partition. You will find here all of the drive that is inserted in your PC. In our case, what we are going to use is this uh, disk 4. To clean the slate of this hard drive, go back to the command prompt and type in disk part all in one word. Then type in list disk. Then select the disk that you are about to clean. And from here, you have to make sure to select the right disk. You don't want to format or clean the wrong hard drive. In our case, we are going to select disk 4. Then press enter. If you see here that your disk has been selected, go ahead and type it clean. Again, always make sure that you are selecting the right disk. Then hit enter. You will notice here that our disk 4 on the disk management is now unallocated. Now we can either use a Rufus or a Win32 to flash this hard drive. Let us go ahead and start with the Rufus first. We can go ahead and close this, open the Rufus, and here on the device, you have to make sure that you have selected the right drive. In our case here, it seems that the Rufus cannot detect my hard drive, so I will just go ahead and use the Win32 disk imager. But if you can select your drive here, select it here, then click on select, and load the XFAT hacks pico. Once everything is properly selected, hit on start and it will flash the hard drive. Again, always make sure that you are working on the right hard drive. But on my case, I will go ahead and load the Win32 disk imager. If your drive still can't be detected, 
you will have to format your hard drive first. So go back to the disk management, right click on this part and click on initialize disk. Choose MBR, then OK. Then right click here, select new simple volume, next, next, next. You don't have to choose any format here yet. Just hit on next, then finish. Once you see your drive is ready, let us go ahead and try Rufus again. Unfortunately, it still can't detect our drive. So let us go back to Win32 Disk Imager. Now, as you can see here, we can choose our drive. So this is drive G. And here it is also showing that it's on drive G. Now click here and load the XFAT Hacks Pico. Now, once everything is properly selected, go ahead and hit right. Then yes. Now, after flashing your hard drive, go back to the disk management, right click on the drive, then hit on the new simple volume. If you're having some issues here, you may have to unplug your hard drive and plug it back in. Now, right click on the drive, new simple volume, hit on next, next, next. Then on the file system, choose XFAT. You don't have to change anything here, so just hit on next, then finish. After that, we should be able to access our hard drive. Now on my system here, I can see here the hidden folder system volume information because I have set up my windows to show the hidden folders. But by default, you won't be able to see this folder. Now let's open the magic USB folder. Then inside the magic USB folder, right click on the system volume information. You will be able to see this inside the magic USB folder because this one is not hidden. So right click on this folder. Click on copy, then back on your drive, right click, then paste, then overwrite. Now we can go ahead and use this to activate our jailbreak. On our PS4, let us go ahead and reset our jailbreak first. This is important because I have tested the magic USB method, but almost all of the hosts that I have tried, I have only found two hosts that still supports this method. But you can still test this if this will work on your current host. But if not, you can go ahead and uh, use this host as well. So let us go ahead and reset our host. Close the window. Delete all. Delete cookies and clear website data. Now let us go ahead and use Karos host. And here choose the 900NM or the manual host. Just go ahead and cache this host first. Next, we can go ahead and activate our jailbreak by clicking on any of the golden version. Now, the difference of using the magic USB compared to the standard USB when activating the jailbreak is you won't get any notification when using the magic USB compared to the standard dangle where you will have to wait for the notification that the current device is unsupported. You won't see that when using the magic USB. Let me go ahead and show you how to activate this. So first, let us uh, choose the gold hand. And once you get this notification, just go ahead and insert your USB. After inserting the USB, since you won't be receiving any further notification, you can just go ahead and wait for 6 to 10 seconds, the usual waiting time before you get the next notification. So after around 6 to 10 seconds, just go ahead and press enter. And you can uh, simply get this notification that the jailbreak is already done. Now you will get this message, please remove the USB drive, but you don't have to do that when using the Magic USB. But before you do anything else, we are not yet finished setting up the Magic USB. First, we have to use uh, the PS4 Explorer or navigate the contents of our PS4. Navigate to the USB by opening the MNT folder. Then choose USB 0. Then triangle on the system volume information. And we have to delete this. Now what we're going to do here is we have to format the USB again. So that we can uh, set it back to the usual USB or external hard drive format. But the function is still the same. It can still activate the jailbreak. Now if you don't have a PS4 Explorer. You can go ahead and use FTP. So go to the golden settings, server settings, and enable FTP server. 
take a note of this IP address and use port 2121. And make sure that your PS4 is connected to a router on the same network with your PC. Now let us go ahead and open an FTP client on our PC. On our KC, we are going to use FileZilla. Then open the site manager. On the host, enter the IP address of your PS4 and use the port 2121. Then just go ahead and click on connect. Now same here. Just navigate on the MNT folder then USB 0, then if you see here the volume information, just go ahead and delete that folder. Now let us go ahead and insert our USB or external hard drive back to our PC. And by the way, if you're going to ask why do we have to use the PS4 to delete the uh, volume information, actually I don't know for myself. But based on the instruction, we have to follow it as accurate as possible to prevent any issues when using the Magic USB. So let us just go ahead and follow the instruction as accurate as possible. Now let us go back and insert our external hard drive. Back on our PC, right click on the drive. Again, always make sure that you are working on the right hard drive. Then click on format, choose XFAT, and hit on start. By the way, don't forget to check on the quick format. Then once it's formatted, you can still go ahead and use this hard drive as a standard USB or external hard drive. All of its functions are still the same, but you can still use this to activate your jailbreak on PS4 9.0. Now let us go ahead and uh, transfer any files here that we can use to install on our PS4. And since we are just going to test this, let us just go ahead and uh, install the golden cheats using the external hard drive. And before we do that, let us also go ahead and restart our PS4 and use this hard drive to activate uh, the jailbreak and use it to install uh, the FPKG. Though we don't have to remove the USB or the external hard drive every time we use it, we still have uh, to insert it when the PS4 asks for the USB. So let us go ahead and um, choose the gold hand. Insert the USB or the external hard drive. Wait for a few seconds, at least 6 to 10 seconds, then hit OK. And the jailbreak is done. You see, we don't receive any notification. It will just go ahead and jailbreak or activate the gold hand. Now let us try to install our gold hand cheats. We are simply using this same external hard drive, but we can also use that to install FBKG. Though you can leave this external hard drive plugged into your PS4, but just for the safety precaution, I would still recommend to remove the hard drive after you use it because the stability is not yet perfect. And I believe that uh, since 2002, the development of this has stopped. And based on my test, sometimes it still causes some kernel panic when you open or when you boot up your PS4 with your external hard drive plugged in. But still, you can use that external hard drive as a, your regular USB or external hard drive for movies, games, or whatsoever. And you can still use it to activate your PS4. That way, you don't have to sacrifice a drive specifically for the activation of your jailbreak. And from what I can see, though you will have to wait for a few seconds, but the stability is almost the same as like using the regular USB to activate the jailbreak. So this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, you may go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.